And now, coming to you live. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody, let's sing along. Hi there. My name is Roland Sandberg, and I tune in all the way here in Finland, Europe. Lots of greetings from Finland. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Talking Tunes. I'm your announcer, Kitty Litta. Now it's time to talk to the loon tunes of Talking Tunes. Oh, Here they are, the Talking Tunes crew. 91X, FAMA, Baja California, Mexico. Welcome to Talking Tunes 2020. Talking Tunes, hey, we're here with the one and only... <laughs> We were supposed to have more people here today, but anyway. The I one scared them all away, yeah, as usual. It could be. It I'm could a repellent. Be. Tracy, Tracy Lorenz. I'm like a the North Magnet. What do you, so what do you think? Do we have anything to talk about or what? There's hardly anything going on in the world. Nothing. No. no not a thing. You know, I got to tell you, though, uh, Cliff Martin is one of your biggest fans. He's 90 years old, but he's one of your biggest fans. He loves uh, to hate you. I'm uh, I'm big with the 90-year-olds. <laughs> I cornered <laughs> that market. That was, was me too. When I went radio, I I went from the Rock ninety five and the the young teeny boppers, and then I went to KBZ, and the next thing you know, I got the blue hairs that are after me. So it's like, <laughs> wait a minute, something's not right here. I love Cliff. I think his daughter is a uh, waitress at Russ's. Yeah, yeah, she still is. Yeah, Wrinkle Hut, <laughs> as as we would call it. <laughs> it's called a Wrinkle Hut. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that one before. Yeah. Yeah, you don't hang around with the cool people. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Wrinkle Hut. Yeah, I like that. Hut. Next time I go there, that's of course I'm one of the wrinkles now. That's so, right. You know, Me too. I, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of sucks. When Can you I get the special? <laughs> what kind I'm of over soup? sixty. Can I get yeah, the special? I get the special. I want the salad bar. <laughs> the salad bar. <laughs> what kind I of can't soup you chew. have today? Do you have the rice? Is it is it soft? <laughs> is it chicken and rice? Is it soft? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I live in the South Central Grand Haven, so the riots have been pretty extreme. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, they're storming. And, um, I saw the stuff on the internet about how they're going to be attacking Muskegon and everybody's boarding up the windows and nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I expected nothing. And I was right. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad because that would have, you know, they did all that work to build up downtown and then to just have it flattened again yeah. would have been a, would have been a bad deal. Yeah. So anyway, as far as uh, the the bad news, let's let's find some good news. Is there any good news to talk about? Well, the construction business is back open, so that's good for me. We're doing a lot of decks and roofs and crap. So and people don't have to like put holes in their roofs to give you a call now. No, no, the bat the bat light is off. Yeah, they can actually call me and go out there and and everybody's kind of apprehensive. Like nobody wants to shake your hand, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, and it all sort of staying away and. Whatever. But yeah. Well, you and I are about six feet apart. We're about six feet. Yeah. I think that uh, was in the last uh, court order. Yeah. Well, hey, now, we, now we I have to stay have, six feet apart. I got to get some more mics because we can get at least 100 people over here now. So oh, yeah. It's outside. It's like Woodstock. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could get a, we could, could get could a be. nice crowd. Yeah. We'll have Cliff over here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Cliff play the organ? Yeah, yeah, he did. He played at the Frontal. Yeah, yeah, for for the Buster Keaton. Um, you can't you can't beat me on Muskegon trivia. Yeah, I know well, it. You know, Cliff. Also, the one thing we're, him and I want to talk about, or I, one thing I want to talk to Cliff about, was I just watched the documentary on Betty Page. Huh. Now you know who Betty Page is. Uh, she a model, it like was, a risque model. Yeah, she was like one of the first pinup girls. Yeah, well, back in go. the fifties, and she did some pretty risque stuff. For back in the fifties, I didn't think they even had that kind of wow. photography back in the fifties. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, they do. S- I do. Betty Page pictures everywhere around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. pretty. Bu- <laughs> yeah, I got Brooke Shields over there. Yeah, I have Brooke, Brooke Shields, Shields in my uh, basement. Yeah, do you? Shh. Yeah, keep it, keep it down. Keep it quiet, though. Yeah, yeah. And Carly Simon over here, and yeah, Bonnie Raitt over there, and anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good radio. <laughs> 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 they talk about what pictures you got hanging up. Well, see, this is the thing. Nobody wants to come out. I don't know. I set this whole thing up, but nobody wants to come out. You came out. I, I really came out. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I forgot about last week. Till Should we talk about Jeannie? <laughs> Wednesday. No, that's, that'd be cruel. Well, I don't want to talk bad about her. I just want to say she thought it was at the radio station. So, See, Oscar does his best to repel people because I put in my GPS 
<laughs> and it, it had me going exactly backwards of where I was supposed to go. I was actually on his road, and it says, like, take a right, turn around, yeah. go, and I yeah, find the call off people where west I'm. instead of east. So, yeah. Yeah. So, but I guess she uh, she went to the radio station. Oh, she said maybe another day. Yeah. She's not going to make it. Shock the monkey. Yeah. Well, I understand. I mean, that I feel bad. I thought she knew that. <laughs> We were here in the house. That's what we've been talking about, but, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we were all communication majors. So. <laughs> communication, the key to success. Yeah. Try to at least get the right city. Yeah, well, yeah, she didn't get the right city. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But and that's so, okay. I forgive her. I think but the Je area code is right. Yeah. It's 231. Now, Jeannie was, good, was supposed to come over here. Jeannie Vollmer was actually a uh, somebody I knew back in the late 80s. When I worked at Sunny FM, and she was kind of like the promotions director, uh, she'd get everything done as far as what we needed to do at Sunny FM. So what we're doing is we're planning a whole reunion. <laughs> I can just see how that's going to turn out already. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a whole reunion. <laughs> of personalities. Yeah, yeah. So we got uh, we got Ranger Bob, we got Jojo Gerard, uh, Jim Biggins, um, Louis Mitchell. Emerson's brother. Yeah. Bob. Uh, Mike Mike Rich, the nasty man. Um, Big Betty Page fan. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Betty Page fan. And right me, there. who had nothing to do with Sunny FM. Yeah, you did. Were you there when they had, when they were passing out the dollar bills? That was the early days. Yeah, yeah. with Biggins. Yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. No, I wasn't there yet. Yeah. I actually went there when Biggins was going out and JoJo was taking over the morning show. Yeah, so that was, was like uh, '88. That was big time back then. Yeah. That was the WTRU of its day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's no longer there now either. No. That building's gone. History. History. Yeah. Dust. Yeah, nothing lasts. Do have some pictures, though. Damn it. Do have some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you worked there at, at TRU for writing I would, copy, I would right? I TRU, yeah, a long time ago. Writing yeah. copy. That's when I was on Getty and whatever. Yeah, so, you know, Don Don Anderson, you don't know I him, know. but, I mean, he was in the 60s. Right. You, you were in, what, in the 70s you came in there to write? 80s. 80s? Okay. Yeah, seventies. I was a little young. Do you remember any of any of your great commercials that you wrote or no? No, just the last time we talked about the one I wrote about the uh, head shop. Where I wasn't allowed to tell what they what they made oh, or they sold made. or yeah. yeah. That was a that was a tough one. No, it was a lot of bank commercials and you know golf courses and it was pretty mundane. Really, but you try to spice them up. Yeah, yeah, as best you could. Well, I remember the the. This radio station over here that used to be WPBK and about 50 other different things. I used to write commercials, and I remember the the pizza one I did, and I was really excited when I used the used the phrase "tantalize your taste buds." Wow, I thought that was pretty original, but <laughs> obviously not. But you know, I, I thought it was good. I, anyway. I like a good alliteration. <laughs> I, I can't I can't use enough of them. That's right. Personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Thunderbird Raceway. You remember, you remember that one, right? Uh, it's, it's legendary, the Thunder. I think they still run it. <laughs> they do. The Thunderbird yeah. Raceway. Wait, was that the edge of your seat one? Yeah, that was the one, yeah. 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 Well, you know, when I come from... Come you'll from pay for the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I came from the Detroit area, and they used to do those commercials over there all the time as far as the... Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I tried doing that with Thunderbird, and everybody said, hey, we kind of like that, you know. <laughs> Put the little echo in there, and... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So and it, I was terrible at it, but anyway, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thunder, Thunderbird. Never been there, but, you know, I remember the commercials. I did. It's very, very dusty. <laughs> well, I was it's at the one, dusty. Winston? Is yeah, the one Winston. Up? Yeah. yeah, I went there once. Yeah, there's that's an actual track, right? There's a, a orthodontist graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they because they start out, it's the actual round track. It's all dirt. There's just dust flying away. But they start out like behind a fence and all uh -huh. of a sudden it's like they just come flying out at full speed it's not oh, like it's there's a starting then? line okay they just like go and these cars just they come over a little hill and they're already going hmm. and then you drive around and you know, watch have, them go around again no idea you know it's because it, it seems to be some sort of staggered start so there's just cars everywhere and and then somebody wins people love it though i mean uh, we, it's I, always I full i found an old uh because we used to run it on tv 40 you remember about that tv 40? oh yeah yeah, we used to run Thunderbird Raceway on TV40, and I found one of the old uh, ones that we, we did, well, one of the ones we recorded, and I put it on Facebook or YouTube. 
And that got almost as many hits as you. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> well, they had more drivers. <laughs> I have a, a Winston race. This involves Andy O'Reilly. Remember okay. Andy? Andy oh, did yeah. all the announcing there, and he would come on the crowd occasionally. And he spots me, and I'm with my friend Dave Schaub and some other guys. And I tell him, Andy, there's a special star in the, uh, in the crowd, Dave Schaub. He's an he's a astronaut. So Andy gets out there to introduce him as Dave Schaub, American astronaut, and all the people are clapping and stuff. <laughs> and then, like a year later, I see him at a, uh, a hockey game, same same deal. The astronaut's back. He's like, oh, oh, let me talk to him. So he's, <laughs> He loves astronauts. He loves that. astronauts, yeah. yeah. So he's like, have you ever been up in space? And Dave's like, no, no. You know, I had my chance, but you know, after <laughs> Columbia blew up, they canceled stuff. And he sort of played along, but as far as I know, Andy still thinks <laughs> I, am, I am good friends. With an astronaut. Well, Andy, Andy listens to this show, which he probably doesn't, but if he ever does. If he ever does, he can hunt me down. <laughs> you bastard. He, I know he loves astronauts, though, because, I mean, there was an astronaut he does. that we had ever at uh, MUS one time, and I videotaped it, and it was an actual, the actual astronaut that circled the moon when the other guys were down there doing their thing. And wow. uh, anyway. You just pull over if you were that guy. It's like, <laughs> just let me land for a second. Right. Like, like, wasn't there a guy in the capsule on the moon? I guess. They didn't get out? I, yeah, probably. Like, why won't you just get out? What are they going to do? Fire you? <laughs> That's right. Leave you up there? No, I'd get out. I'd, I'd like, write my name yeah, with my foot. you how small those things are? Probably didn't have enough suits for them to yeah. get out. So. No, I, but I would, you know, with your foot, just write. <laughs> to hold your breath. Tracy, <laughs> yeah, hold your breath, run out there, write your name, run back in. Grab a rock. It's all cool. Yeah. That was... That was wasn't that this week? What's that? That they landed on the moon? Like, 1969 of... Oh, yeah. Like, how many years is that? Two days ago? Something like that? 30? 50. 50? Yeah, I think it was the 50th anniversary. Yeah. Well, 69, wasn't it? Or 68. What am, I, am I wrong? 69. Yeah, so it wouldn't be well, 50. Whatever that is, 51. Yeah. I don't know. Math isn't my strong <laughs> suit. <laughs> I might have mine at the moment either, so. One would make it we're, 70. We're and sitting 30. outside with a bunch of microphones yeah. around us. 51. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Looking, looking it's like, for a, it's like a press come. conference. <laughs> Hoping that a bird lands on one and we can yeah. talk him up. If we get a parrot, we're we're gold. I should have videotaped this. We should push the videotape. This is, <laughs> yeah, would, this is worth worth that video that right would here. Shoot the ratings. Yeah, Zuckerberg would have heart attack. <laughs> Sees this. He just, you know, it's just uh, Tracy pulling in my driveway. I almost uh, hit my garbage can. Right yeah, because I went zooming past. And Oscar says I'll be out by the road, which means I'll be like. 50 yards from the road. Well, it's a 100, 100 foot driveway, so you know, you kind of. <laughs> I didn't want to walk all that way. I, I had to lock them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I brought a car that I can lock them up in. There you go. It's a good thing, it's a good thing you did. Yeah, because what mean, you want to do when you're surrounded by dirt roads and stuff is drive a convertible. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least this one's paved now. It never, yeah. it, I remember years ago when it wasn't paved, that was even more fun. Yeah. We can go down the road here a little bit. There's a, a dirt road you can jump on if you want. Yeah, I'll do some donuts. I'll give you some directions. <laughs> yeah, give you some back. directions how to get to that. <laughs> yeah. Google Maps. Yeah. Google Maps. Yeah. Welcome to Talkin' Tunes 2020. Talkin' Tunes. Hey, we're here with the one and only. <laughs> we were supposed to have more people here today, but anyway. The I one scared and only. them all away, yeah, as usual. It could be. It I'm could a repellent. Be. Tracy, Tracy Lorenz. I'm like a the North Magnet. Only. What do you, so what do you think? Do we have anything to talk about or what? I brought Force this out just for you right here. Billy Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Still available in stores. Does it work? Uh, I don't know. I'll trust you if you, you don't have to push works. the button. I don't know. I'll leave it alone. Because I'm a good bass fisherman. Are you? No. Okay. I don't think I've ever caught a... I've never kept a fish. I've caught fish. Oh, yeah. I never can keep them either. But I, uh, I'm I've not sure I ever caught a bass. bass. I don't know about they were Billy, but I caught lots of bass. I caught, I caught a barracuda, once. No, see that I would that I wouldn't want to catch. Yeah, well, see, I was in Belize on this little boat way out in the middle of nowhere, and we we're supposed to be fishing for stuff that was much deeper, like sea bass or something. But every time we would cast out, the sharks would eat the bait. Yeah. So then. After a while, you'd catch a fish, and you'd be reeling it in, and then you would just get like a head, because you just reeled up, and there's nothing there, but, you know, because the sharks ate it, which gives you a lot of confidence when you're sitting in this little 12-foot boat that the sharks are bigger than. 
So one time we cast out and uh, caught a barracuda. So that was it. What'd you do with it? Gave it to the local villagers. Oh, so you did keep it then? Oh, yeah, the guy, well, did, I didn't did keep it. Did you reach him for the hook? I let the, <laughs> no, the thing had teeth like a dog. It was impressive. But the guy um, who was the guide sort of looked like Snoop Dogg, you know, he was not about to give that fish up, so I just told him he could keep it. So, looked like I don't know, what, what was I going to do with it, you know? Hey. So, so you guys are out smoking marijuana out there catching uh, catching those <laughs> That's it. Those that's bats, that's those. my life. <laughs> Those no, but I, I'm sure he knew where to get some if we needed it. But uh, at that point, we did not. Oh, okay. We did not have any. Yeah, I remember we we're we we're flying in this boat, and it's this little bitty boat. There's not a top. It's like like a rowboat with a motor on it. Yeah. And we hit a manatee going like 50. I said, "Wham!" I'm like, "What was that?" We hit a manatee. I'm like, "Crap!" <laughs> There's no land in sight. We're in the middle of the you know yeah. freaking ocean. So I'm running around looking for life preservers, which there weren't any. In leaks, which there weren't any, but yeah, had we gone down, they never would have. Those sharks would have made us in seconds, because these weren't like nice, pretty sharks. These were, uh, you know, not made for TV sharks. They had crooked teeth, and they were, <laughs> they were gigantic. So it was a little intimidating. Anyway, so we're flying, we're flying here in the crystal blue Caribbean sky, and there's one little cloud, like the size of a car, way in the distance, and I can see this cloud. He's like, ee, he's heading right for this cloud. And I'm like, oh, well, he's going to turn a little bit. He, he does it. And it's just pouring downpour out of this little bitty cloud, and he goes right through it, like 10 seconds. Yeah. I'm like, all you got to do is go, like, 15 feet, either direction. And you wouldn't hit that one cloud. Yeah, it's the only cloud in the, yeah. in the sky. Right, probably needed some a little refresher to wake him up a little bit. <laughs> it was. Well, when you're... When you're down in the shallower parts, he's like, you want lunch? And I'm like, oh, all right. Figuring there was a lunch, and then he just dives off and grabs a conch shell and comes up and, like, digs this thing out of it. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> yeah. Did, That's a, you? Did you? And no, I didn't. Yeah. But but one one time I was in the, um, in the jungle out there somewhere, and... Uh, the guide who was like James Bond, he had this cool accent and stuff, and he was talking about hunting sand denises. He's like a man's man's man. And uh, he found some iguana eggs, and uh, I ate one of those. It's kind of like toothpaste. You just, it's like leather, and you just bite the tip off, and then you just squeeze it. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, I wouldn't recommend them, but I figured I had to take one for the team there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I ate an iguana egg. If we were starving... Yeah. Trying to make it afraid. I was I was gold because I've uh, I've done it. Yeah, luckily there was no iguana in it. It was still I don't know some mushy state, but I ate it. <laughs> I still so still taste it. Is it because is, now it, is it because it, you were with the man's man? Guy? Yes, that's yeah. exactly it. I couldn't like ooh, <laughs> gross. And I'm like, oh yeah, hit me, toss me one of those. Yeah, toss me one. Let me chew her down. Yeah. But yeah, you just you bit the tip off it and you just squeeze it like toothpaste. And Ew! There you go. Nasty. Yeah. That uh, was like that was like when I ate raw octopus. I'll never do that again either. That was horrible. No. Yeah. Because they have like sticker or you know plungers. Like what if it sticks in the back of your throat? And just like latches on. <laughs> You're just gonna <laughs> gag till you die. How'd yeah. I ask her die? Octopus. <laughs> I never would have. I never would have guessed it. I never would have put that on my list of things to kill yeah, Oscar. That's, that's what killed Mama Cass. You didn't know that, did you? An octopus? Yeah. No. Yeah, she was eating an octopus sandwich. Wow. No. Well, if only she'd have shared with Karen Carpenter, would have. They'd both be alive today. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Both be, was was it really an octopus sandwich? No. 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 I don't. It was ham. I don't know what it was. Uh, ham. Ham flavored. Ham flavored octopus. octopus. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> Yeah. So you've been to a, a lot of adventures when you were, uh, since you make all this money when you were doing all this uh, this writing yeah. in your career? that's mostly what it was. <laughs> well, sometimes they'd send me play. Well, um, one time I was working f um, for my dad, a construction company and stuff, and we were doing the um, uh, welcome center at a, at a uh, pyramid down in Central America. So that's how I got my first taste of, you want to go to some place, I mean, people out here whine about their wages. These guys are making 50 cents a day. Yeah. And they are living in the jungle, like in the jungle. There's a little, like on Cool Hand Luke when they said, put them in the cooler. Yeah. That was like their house. Just these little wow. ice shanties in the, in the heat. And um, I'm standing out there, and in between these two pyramids, there's the big field, like where they play lacrosse 
or whatever game it was where they you know kicked the skulls of the defeated and and um, the whole field has got holes in it like when you uh, aerate a golf course only they're bigger yeah so I asked the guy you know what's in the hole and he goes oh tarantulas I'm like what he goes yeah it's like ten thousand of these holes so I take uh, my little can of diet coke and I pour it in the hole and tarantula comes out and I'm thinking man what's this place look like at night he goes don't worry they only come out at night and I'm like holy mackerel I'd be locking my doors. So at night there's 10,000 tarantulas that just appear to run around these pyramids. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to give you some good dreams. You don't have cable or anything. You're just laying there in your death hut waiting for the tarantulas, tarantulas to descend. Tarantulas come in, yeah. Yeah. So one thing you learn about that area is everything can kill you. The trees, the snakes, you know, they give you tips. Don't go over there. That's where the snakes are. Mm. So you want to go back real soon, right? I'd go back, but I'd wear taller boots. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's you yeah. just better be ready for the heat because it's pretty hot, and yeah, like what I said, there's there's no OSHA in Belize or yeah. Costa Rica. You're just you're on your own. What about what about like Australia? You've ever been there? Uh, the Devil's Zoo. Um, no, but I've seen enough on TV. Yeah, <laughs> to yeah. appreciate not going there because go. you know their stuff's deadly and it's not even good looking deadly. Right, like our right. stuff. You know, rattlesnakes. They have a certain charm. They've got little rattles and you know. <laughs> diamonds and stuff and these are just like some brown snake that can you know kill an entire yeah sleep into your sleeping bag at night yeah yeah and uh yeah they don't look that happy that they're in the irukandji the little um what do you call them jellyfish like the world's deadliest thing yeah it's the size of your fingernail and they're yeah. they're clear so you can't even see them and if you just brush up against one it's a painful two-week death yeah, so everything there, I sh it'd be fun to go to, but uh, I'm not going. Yeah, yeah, my sister went there, but luckily she didn't come in there. I bet you she, if she would have known all that stuff, she wouldn't have went. So. Yeah, Cause I watched the shows there where they mine for gold or opals or something that they never find. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and there's always some, you know, death within inches away. Oh, yeah, it's just a brown rat snake <laughs> with enough poison to... Well, you could always find the Lakers. Could always find Crocodile Dundee when you're over there, you know, and check it uh, out with him. Or um, who's the guy who got the harpoon through the heart? Crocodile oh. Hunter, whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a good way to go. No, no, especially when those are actually kind of friendly fish. Yeah, normally. Normally, yeah. yeah. Talk about a bad review. Yeah. Boom. So get a harpoon through the heart or a dart. And you're, you know, like me being on that boat fishing, it's not like you're going to rush back to the hospital. Yeah. You're pretty much toast. They probably didn't hurry back, just like, hey, fishing's good. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, lay over there for a while. Steve Irvin, that, yeah. that was his name. I'll let you get yeah. back. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. No, I guess he, he was killed instantly, wasn't he? Right through the heart. I no, think there he is no instantly. No. <laughs> Unless you blow up. I think he knew it was like, because he said something. Did he? Yeah, like, I'm done, or, yeah, he, he made some famous last words. Plus, he's underwater. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, now we got to get him up. Then you got to get him on the boat. Then you got to yank this harpoon out of him, or dart, or whatever it was. So, yeah, that wasn't a, I bet it took a little while. Yeah. It's not like TV where they just shoot you and you drop. Yeah. You got to linger. Yeah, you know about that, being a TV star. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, movie, movie star. Movie star. Movie star. I didn't even get yeah. the opportunity to get shot. Yeah. Yeah, I just disappeared. So maybe mine was painless. <laughs> maybe I stepped out of mine. Never saw it. Yeah. Just bang. So are you writing again yet or no? No. No? But I might. I'm still working on a play. Write a little bit on that every week. Writing the music for it. So Music too, huh? Oh, it's a musical. Oh. Yeah. You sing, sing a couple songs or no? No. No? No, not at this point. Um, I'm sort of writing. My, my son can sing very well, and he's in theater at Catholic Central, so if it all works out by the time he's a senior, you know. So does he actually just get a, a part of the play no matter what? Oh, yeah. And I better get a walk-on role. I'll tell you that. No, he's, <laughs> Carry the gun as a sheriff number four. <laughs> yeah, but he's, uh, you know, he's been doing it since seventh grade. He's been in the senior play, so I don't know. See, at Catholic Central, you pretty much have to do everything because the school's so small, and yeah. you know, they got a big cast, so... But yeah, the kid can sing, so what the heck. So you I'll see if that, I can write something. Must get that from his mother, I take it, or yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I can say I can hit a, a perfect M. One of the <laughs> one of the few <laughs> who, can, who can hit an M and hold it. 
<laughs> well, you know, you you didn't have time for singing. You're hanging around with astronauts. Yeah, yeah. In in uh, space, no one can hear you. That's right. <laughs> no one can hear you sing, <laughs> off key. Yeah, yeah. Dave, the astronaut. We've been going for 25 minutes, so that's pretty well, good. That's, uh, we can we can end <laughs> it right there. Yeah. That's a yeah. There's no time limit. No. So yeah. Uh, plus, you got to leave them one more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we've achieved that. Yeah. Yeah, that's really why. Did. That's why it would be a little easier with uh, some more people here. Yeah, but, yeah, would have been. Well, it would have been to uh, to be able to get into this dis- well, discussion too. But radio people aren't known for their adventuresome leaving the couchness. Yeah, I guess not. Well, you know, it is eighty-five degrees or whatever out Bastards. here. So. Yeah, well, a little breeze though. I mean, come on, what more can you ask for? Well, it could be fertilizing. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> could it be could that. be Poopersville. It could be Coopersville. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, later, we, after we get done with this, we can take a ride on my John Deere. That's a little too <laughs> romantic for me, Oscar. I, I barely know you. Yeah, well. I'll race you. I appreciate you coming out here anyway. Yeah, no problem. It's nice getting out. I mean, I was at my office, so it's not that far away. And I would have made the drive from Grand Haven if I had to. Yeah. Because well, you've been so good to me. Pretty soon, I... Well, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Your bike's got a mind of its own. My there. microphone is yeah, it's heading south. That's a brand new microphone stand too. Yeah. Did you keep the receipt? I did. <laughs> Good, cause, yeah, well, like this little lock thing on it. Yeah. There you go. Just need to tighten it up. No, maybe not. Oh, More good coming, radio. It's coming out the thing there. That's what it is. More prime radio telling <laughs> me how to hook my microphone to it <laughs> with a C clamp. There we go. Watch this. There. Perfect. <laughs> testing <laughs> all right well, i'm having a good time anyway so yeah. there we go that's all that matters as far as i'm concerned but anyway thank you sir for coming over oscar <laughs> thank you and i'll be back because uh i want to have the most shows yeah 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 you probably will because nobody else wants to come so three <laughs> <laughs> i got a big lead right now well you know yeah last the last one you did was you got it uh i think it was 99 people checked no it out. I, I looked today and one of them was 100, and one was 117. Wow. So, That's yeah, increasing. Triple figures. <laughs> Screaming up. I think it's because we talked about Kmart. I really do. Uh, Kmart is the, the it key. It brings people together. <laughs> Kmart. Does. We still had Kmart. When you think about it, when we had Kmart, there were no burning buildings. No one was looting a Kmart. Target's no. got nice stuff. Kmart's like, ah, oh, screw that. No, the only thing they were looting <laughs> were the blue light specials. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, pushing those. that cart. And those crotchless underwear and stuff like that. The used, yeah. the used or I'm underwear. sorry, the, the underwear that didn't have a crotch in them. Yeah, well, that was it, yeah. Oscar, you're wearing your underwear upside down. <laughs> 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 I got a tip for you. There was a crotch. Oh, you just hit them on upside down. No, I... Damn it. No, that's a story I can I can share with you if, if you want me to. No, nah, I don't really want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oscar with the crotchless panties. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's kind of what it was. Got his radio there. Yeah, the well, you know, the, the mother always tried to save some money, so she she said she got these underwear on special, but no. they they were actually <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway. so they weren't men's either. Well, I don't know. She was. They, she said they were, but I didn't think they were. I don't. Yeah, I, don't I trust think in my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. How I you don't have stories for the prison psychologist is beyond me because well, stuff I had you. A, Come I, out with I had a good family, so yeah, made, made sounds adventuresome. My parents never <laughs> bought me crotchless panties. My mom didn't love me. I know, they bought right? me regular underwear. Well, crotchless, crotchless was so much easier too. You just unzip the zipper and boom, there you go. So you why know? wear it? <laughs> <laughs> just for the look, just for gym class. Yeah. <laughs> so guys could pick you out. Hey, look at Oscar. He's kind of hot today. Are those crotchless panties? Yeah, some was, like some people just call those socks. Socks, yeah. Socks are basically crotchless panties. <laughs> if you're just wearing socks. Uh, All right, wrap it up. Yeah, please. All right, thank you. <laughs> wrap it up, to Oscar. We've thank hit a, you, we've sir. Hit a lull. Thank you, Oscar. Bye. Thank you, Oscar. Bye. Thank you, Oscar. Bye.